What's really at stake with open access is the chance to radically reform the way that we communicate the results of science. My name is Kurt Rice, and I work at the University of Tromsø in northern Norway, where I work as the vice rector for research. And I also head a Norwegian organization called Kristen. That stands for Current Research Information System in Norway. And one of our responsibilities is to promote and implement the government's open access policy. I think that one of the things that's exciting about open access is that it helps us avoid some of the problems of traditional publishing. It creates opportunities for doing things in a different way. For example, if you take something as simple as peer review, peer review of articles usually means that three people look at it. But with the opportunities of the, of the internet and with the opportunity to post things multiple times through the process, we can get feedback from a lot more people. We've seen a rise in retraction rates from scientific articles recently. So people, after they're published, realize there's some mistake or some problem is discovered and the article has to be retracted. Maybe if more people looked at it before it was published, we could avoid that problem. And that's just one example of many ways that open access can help us avoid the problems of traditional publishing. One of the bonuses of open access is that it's a digital forum and that lets us use other digital tools and bring them into the scientific arena. To take a very simple example, what if articles were connected to Twitter and we were able to discuss them on Twitter and maybe even take some of those tweets into a later published version of the article. In fact, that's happened already and we see that by engaging social media communities, we get another form of quality control of the research that's being published.